Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're a return viewer or subscriber. This is a really exciting video for me to make today because it is a little bit long awaited, sort of, kind of. Um, I did mention to you guys in my um, vlog all about like moving and moving out and getting my own new place and all that stuff about how I've been furniture shopping and I was gonna show, you know, different things, this and that, whatever, whatever. But I have not actually posted it. So I am here today and I'm here to give you all the deets and everything up into my progress right now. I did a really exciting thing today, guys. <laughs> and um, I think you'll be proud of me when you actually get to see it. Uh, so yeah, drum roll, please. I bought a couch. I bought a couch. I'm so freaking excited. I bought a couch, it's white. Now, I wanted, originally I wanted a beige couch, but, and I'm inserting the footage in this video so that you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. I was searching, I went to like multiple different furniture stores and I was just looking and looking and looking. And I did find a lot of beige couches. But what I realized is that I am so picky. Like, I was looking at the couches and saying like, this is too dark, this is too light, this, you know, is not soft enough. It was like, I would find like the perfect shape and it wouldn't be soft enough or, uh, cause I was looking for a sectional couch, which I did end up buying a sectional couch. I mean, this couch is super, super cute. It's gonna match really, really well with kind of like my vision for like the farmhouse look for my um, living space here, uh, like the living room and the kitchen, dining area, how it's kind of all just like open and everything right here. I kind of already had like a little farmhouse going on in the kitchen area, but that is kind of the decor and the theme that I want running through the entire living space. And I'll get more into kind of like my, what I envision for each space of the house and later, like later in the video. So I bought this couch. <laughs> Um, and what ended up happening was when I was looking, I was finding everything that was like, oh, I like the color, but I don't like how firm it is. Like I want something soft. I want something that I can like sink into. I want it to be a sectional. I want it to be the right size. Obviously I'm in a one bedroom. I don't need like a big, huge sectional. Like what am I going to do with some big, huge sectional in the middle of this living room? And I can't put anything else in here and I still need like a table and chairs and like I still need to be able to like function other things in this area. All that to say guys, I ended up finding something that was just perfect for me. The only thing is I didn't think I was going to get a white couch, but I ended up getting a white couch. Same thing for my table. I think I've kind of chosen the kind of dining table that I want. And the thing is, it's right behind me, but there's like a corner basically um where that is kind of where the dining area is like supposed to be sort of thing um and there's two outlets on either side i initially wanted a round table i did not find any round tables that i liked and you guys will see in the footage i looked at so many different places i literally i think i went to five different furniture stores and i've been scouring scouring online looking at different things because I just feel like I wasn't really like asking for too much. <laughs> like I was looking for a round dining table um, that um, basically was either white or beige or gonna match my hardwood floors, which if you guys saw in my apartment tour video are like a gray-ish kind of a wood color laminate. And I couldn't find anything. Like I couldn't find anything. Um, not even just like a basic plain white table like that was even hard to find so I kind of even online like I of course y'all know I'm, I'm all about the Facebook marketplace I'm literally sitting on my bar stools that I got from Facebook marketplace that I absolutely love and um, They also go with the farmhouse theme. They're white and they've got like a wicker like um, chair part um, and they're really great and they're really sturdy too. And I'm loving them so far. So this is basically where I do everything. I'm sitting where I do everything right now. I eat here, I work here on my laptop. My laptop's right in front of me. I film here when I don't wanna be in the bed. Uh, this is pretty much everything for me right now. So I'm excited to get my couch so that I will have 
a little bit more in here, less of an echo, and I just really freaking want a couch. Like sometimes you just want to sit, but you don't want to like go to your bed and sit. You want to just like sit. I mean, that's why couches were invented, right? So um, today, I don't know, I just had the urge. I had seen this beautiful white couch at Ashley's and ah, oh, guys, oh my God, I'm gonna tell the story about how I even got to the point of buying it today. Um, I had seen it, it it's new. It's new for um, Ashley's, they just got it. And um, I had seen it when I had initially went in the first time. But what ended up happening was I was looking at the price tag, right? And it was almost $4,000. So my kind of initial budget for a couch was like 1500. Like I really would have liked to stay within like that 1500 range. Um, this was an almost $4,000 couch. Now, mind you, it is President's Day is coming up. We've got all the President's Day sales coming up, which is why I really wanted to start furniture shopping this month so I could take advantage of the sales. It's tax season. Everybody got their tax returns coming in. Um, you know, it's just a good time. It's a good time, it's a good time. Um, <laughs> so all that being said, I um, saw the couch. I was like, wow, I really like it. I really love it. It was comfortable, it was soft. Um, the color, it's like not too white, you know? It's like a nice off-white to wear. Um, it would match just really well in my um, new place. Um, and it's just, it's more soft. It's not like stark white or anything. Um, plus it's really soft and I don't know, I just loved it. I loved it. Um, I just, it, it really kind of matches the farmhouse kind of aesthetic that I'm wanting to go for in here. So anyways, all that, I'm like, okay, whatever, whatever. I leave, I took my pictures, took my videos, I leave. And I just couldn't stop thinking about that couch. Everything that I kept seeing, because I've been looking at some things that were similar on Wayfair and um, you know, the thing is, I would buy from Wayfair because the prices are really great, but the thing was for me, like, I want to be able to, like, see it and touch it and, like, feel it. I would hate to buy a couch, especially a couch, like a table's one thing, right, or, like, other things in your home, but, like, a couch is a really, really important purchase because I want to make sure that it is to the comfort level, you know? And I need to be able to see it and feel it to know that it is truly like something that I'm gonna wanna have and keep for a long time because that's the goal for me with this couch. Like I'm not just looking for something cheap for now, little $500, little, you know, whatever, just to last me for the moment. Like I actually want like quality so that I can be able to keep these things at least, you know, for the next several years. I'm not really looking to just like smash and dash with the furniture, okay? Like I want quality pieces. I want things that are gonna look great, that are gonna feel great, um, and that are gonna last. So um, all that being said, this couch is like way out of my price range and I just couldn't stop thinking about it, guys. Like I just couldn't stop thinking about it. And um, I, like I said, I kept seeing things that were similar on Wayfair and whatever, but I just, I couldn't stop thinking about it. So today, um, I was just on my way home and I was just like, you know what, let me just go see. Let me just go see, let me go take some more measurements, let me like make sure everything's cool or whatever. And let me just see the couch and let, let's see if there's anything else. You know, you know how we do women. We're just like, I just wanna go look, I just wanna go see. You know, I just wanna take another look because I really liked it the first time, do I like it the second time? How does it feel the second time around? Do I still feel the same way about it? Okay, if that's the case, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. And all that jazz. Basically in a nutshell or not so much, whatever. So all that being said, guys, I drove past um, Ashley's, went ahead and got, went in. I was like one of the only customers that they had had that day. Um, this is honestly such a moment because what I'm about to tell you, I don't know, it's crazy. Um, it's crazy, but I was one of the only customers that they'd had today. Today's a Wednesday, like, it was a beautiful day outside actually. I'm sure that, you know, people were busy doing a lot of other things besides furniture shopping. Uh, you mostly see like a ton of people on the weekends and stuff like that, so. Um, I went initially on a Sunday, so today's a Wednesday. Went ahead and went in and the lady, like she was really sweet and everything. I could, well she told me actually that she had just started working there. So A, this is probably like one of her first sales. Um, 
she had been there for like two weeks. So I'm sure she's probably sold other things, but this is like one of her first sales. She's still new. Um, and she was just really cool and really helpful. And um, basically we were looking at the couch and I was like, I do really like it. Um, but it's way out of my price range, et cetera, et cetera. And we just basically talked um, about how we could basically make it like a little bit more feasible for me. And um, the more we talked, the more we came to a solution. And um, of course they've got their President's Day sales going on, um, yada, yada, yada. Long story short, guys, I um, ended up getting a $4,000 couch, almost $4,000 couch for $2,500. And I am not kidding you. <laughs> Everything that was said and done they really wanted to sell to me because I was about to walk out. I was like, you know what? I got the information. I'm good. Let me go home and think about it, et cetera, et cetera. They were like, she was real with me. She was like, um, like honestly, like we haven't sold anything all day. So, um, you know, they took all my information. They like quoted me that was said and done. They really wanted to sell to me because I was about to walk out. I was like, you know what? I got the information. I'm good. Let me go home and think about it, et cetera, et cetera. They were like, she was real with me. She was like, um, like honestly, like we haven't sold anything all day. So, um, you know, they took all my information. They like quoted me and everything and blah, 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 blah. So I was like, okay, well, um, you know, I'm just gonna take it home and think about it and blah, 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 blah. Until she offered me like basically a price, like I told you guys, that was like way, 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 way cheaper than even what I initially, what we initially talked about. Um, Cause she went, she talked to her manager. They really wanted to sell the couch to me because A, you know, it, she's a new at that job. And B, um, they hadn't sold anything all day. They wanted to sell something they're trying to sell to me. And you know, for me, I was just like, wow, I have been thinking that this couch was way out of my price range, like this whole time. And I go in here and they literally sell it to me for almost half off. I just was beside myself because, and mind you, that is the cost of the couch. It's not even 250, it's actually less than that. And that actually includes like the delivery fee and like setup or whatever. So it's insane. Uh, not to mention, like, I got a bunch of other perks and stuff like that for President's Day sale. Um, 24 months, <laughs> no interest. And, I mean, it's not going to take me 24 months to pay off a couch. But, I can take my time. Like, it's not a rush. Like, what? I was just beside myself and I was so happy. The guy is like, no money down. And... Yes, I'm on a journey to just basically like get healthier financially and things like that. But come on, I could not pass this up. I mean, honestly, it's as good as cash. And when she walked me through everything, I was like, um, so you mean I could walk, I could get, go home with this today? I have bought things on um, with installments in the past. It's not something that I do for like little purchases, like. You know, a lot of people like to do like the Klarna thing where they buy a pair of shoes and they make like, you know, whatever, four payments of like $10.99 or whatever. And cool. Like if that's you, then cool. I just, I'm not really like that. Like I don't want to do it for like smaller purchases, but like a couch, I can do it for a couch. This couch, that's actually one of the things that made me even get this couch in the first place was the no money down and the crazy like no interest, the President's Day sale, the way that they, the manager put his own like extra discount, 35% like discount on top of all the other discounts. And I just feel rich. <laughs> like I'm not even joking with you guys. Like I feel like a rich girl. Even at dinner tonight, like I always make myself really nice, nutritious, healthy, delicious, um, you know, food. And even if I'm eating leftovers, I may pair it with something that I make, you know, and then just like have a really nice, healthy, delicious, well-balanced meal that just makes me feel really good. And tonight I was eating my dinner. I had had some leftover salmon, some asparagus. I had some uh, leftover like mac and cheese. It was like the white mac and cheese with like the shells because I had that 
the other day and I had um, sweet potatoes with, um, I like them with sour cream, well not really sour cream, like low fat or non-fat Greek yogurt, which tastes basically the same as sour cream, but it's like way less fat. I had that for dinner, okay? And I just felt like so, just like rich. I was just like, oh my God, like I'm literally sitting here eating this delicious meal. I'm drinking a glass of wine. I just bought this beautiful couch that I am so obsessed with already. Like I can't wait for it to arrive. And like, I literally feel rich right now. <laughs> I literally feel rich. So I went off on a tangent telling you guys that story, but I just had to share it. And that just like really made me feel like, okay, you know what? Like. I need to come on camera, I need to share this story, and I need to give them an update about the new place. So, we're thinking farmhouse for the kitchen. Of course, I'm gonna give you guys a tour and like keep you updated and things like that. But, farmhouse for this living area. Um, for the bathroom, now for the bathroom, that picture that you guys used to see in the background of my old room, that is going to be um, redistributed into the bathroom and I made up my mind because I was thinking about what I wanted to do in the bathroom and I thought initially that I wanted the whole apartment to be farmhouse. No, we are gonna have different themes in different areas of the house that are going to seemingly like, seamlessly I should say, come together and kind of like blend. So um, for the bathroom, I just absolutely love that picture. I always love that picture. It just, it's like my pink beach house that I love with my palm trees and it has so many different beautiful colors that it incorporates. It's got the pinks, it's got the whites, blues, green from the palm trees. And um, of course I'm gonna have to insert a picture to show you guys cause like duh, y'all know the picture cause you've seen it in so many videos. But um, I remember like buying it, I bought it from Ross and I just absolutely loved it the minute that I seen it. When I was shopping for more art to look for this bathroom recently, like, you know, just at all the typical places, I think I've been to like everywhere. <laughs> home Goods, TJ Maxx, at home, Ross, everywhere. Um, I just, I, I would find things and I would be like, yeah, I like the beachy look or yeah, I like the like minimalist look of like, you know, just very like minimalist artwork and things like that, um, or like shower curtains, I've been looking at that. But I'm just like, I just really always kind of kept going back in my mind to that picture that I already had. And I was like, honestly, I really love it. Like, I don't want to put it away in storage. At first I was thinking like I could take it out in the summer and spring months and like have it in the living area, the main living area as like decor and you know, kind of have more like pinks and blues to kind of tie it in. And then at other port times of the year, I could put it back in storage and then like use other things to decorate or whatever, whatever, whatever. But no, I want to keep it in the bathroom. I can just picture myself like taking my bubble bath and just like looking up at my beach house and just being like, oh, fabulous. It is a fabulous little pink beach house and it's mine. Like I love my beach house and I love it that it's the crystal blue water and I just love you know, the little steps and just like the possibility of the adventure when you go out and it's just very like romantic and very girly and very pretty. And the more that I kept kind of going back to it in my mind, I'm like, okay, I love that picture. Obviously it needs to go in the bathroom so that I can feel like I'm on a little vacay. So that kind of beachy, like pretty vacation vibe is gonna be in the bathroom. Um, so definitely more of like, I guess, a tropical slash beachy kind of a feel, but in a very like upscale classy way, I guess to kind of just everything with the picture, everything's gonna tie in with the picture guys. So yes, and I have white bath mats in there. So it's already like very white. Um, and I think it just, it adds like the perfect statement and the perfect touch of color, all that stuff. And then for my bedroom now, for my bedroom, I have officially decided that I want to go full glam in there. It's going to be a glammed out bedroom. Everything from the furniture, everything from, you know, that to like the mirrors, to the artwork, to the desk area, to the way I display my shoes, the curtains. Everything is gonna be super duper, just glam and fabulous. And um, 
it just basically make me feel like a queen when I'm in my bedroom um slash like closet I do have a walk-in closet but of course like I have um still have like my shoe rack um that I had from the you know my last place and um it's it's fine it does the job but it's not glam you know it's just very functional it's just gray i literally put it together myself i got it off amazon and it does the job um it displays my shoes which i love but we are going to step that up and i'm going to continue to have a shoe wall but it's going to be very glam so it's going to basically be like an extension of my closet outside um of my walk-in closet um on the two walls that kind of are um on that same side there's like a wall and then the closet door and then like some more space on the other side close to the window so it's just basically gonna all be like an extension of my closet i'm gonna display everything my jewelry my shoes um all the all the things accessories everything is gonna kind of be there um and in my closet as well so you know i'm gonna still see how i can function that but it's gonna be beautiful. I'm gonna have a vanity for the first time ever. I've always used my desk as my vanity. Now I really want like a full on vanity. So I'm gonna be having that kind of on the other side of the room, um, a place to display just all my makeup and my perfumes and all of those things and actually be able to like put them on um, and have really great lighting and a mirror. Oh, it's gonna be fabulous guys, it's gonna be fabulous. And my skincare at night have a you know, cute little stool and just be able to like do my skincare in my vanity. I'm really excited for that. Um, and last but not least, I am going to also be working on my outside patio. Um, it's going to be a while before I do that, but obviously I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Um, I really wanna put some fake grass out there. I think that would be really pretty. And I just want to make it like a very whimsical, magical place. I want to put fairy lights. I want to have like a succulent garden. And I want to have like beautiful like furniture, wicker furniture. And I just want to make it like an oasis. Like it's going to be a dream out there. So I'm really, really excited for that. And that's pretty much all I have so far, guys. <laughs> so thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you love the update. And I can't wait to show you guys the new couch when it gets here. I love you so much. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.